What's up, everyone? Happy Friday, Memorial Day weekend Friday. And we're standing on top of the Pond Quag Bridge out here in the Hamptons. It's the bridge that takes you from the mainland to Dune Road. Guys down there fishing. Fog is rolling in. Can't see much. I've done it live from here before and you get to see a lot. But today, not so much, not so much. Very foggy. You can't see much, you can't see much. That gives me a parallel to life. You sometimes feel like you're in a fog, that uh, nothing is going your way, that uh, you can't catch a break, and that the stars won't align for you. Uh, I know I felt like that. I know uh, others have felt like that. Uh, suddenly the traffic's coming. Give me a minute, here we go. All of a sudden it's a highway. It was dead two minutes ago. But anyway, so, have you felt like you're in a fog where no matter what you do, you can't get ahead? Um, and I've kind of developed an idea that I think I know the source of that. We've been lied to our whole lives. Growing up as children, there was a uh, nursery rhyme, uh, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And that is a complete lie. That is a complete lie. Uh, words are everything. How we speak to ourselves and how we speak to others uh, is everything in life. Um, affirmations. You can't have something if you don't believe in it yourself. If your words are saying that you're never going to catch a break, you're never going to catch a break. Powerful. It's powerful. If you don't believe in yourself, how are things going to happen? Who's going to believe in you? How is thing? How is God going to give you what you need if you don't believe it yourself? So sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will definitely screw us up if we speak to ourselves the wrong way. If we speak to people the wrong way. Um, in our own lives, like I said, if we self-doubt, we talk bad about ourselves, um, we say we can't, we say we're going to try instead of do and can, um, really throws us off course and keeps us in this fog, keeps you in the fog. Um, think about it. Think about times when you felt bad and all you talked about is how you didn't feel good and how you couldn't get ahead and how your back hurts and how your leg hurts and how your arm hurts and however whatever else hurts and that's all you're speaking and that's all you can concentrate on but think about good times in your life when you're winning and you're saying i'm invincible i can do this i got this i'm a winner and think about how much more stuff comes into your life it's very very powerful so if you want to get out of the fog start speaking your way out of the fog speak uh, positive messages to yourself and also speak positive messages to those around you um, what we say to those around us really really helps them I know myself when someone says something nice to me positive reinforcement encouragement it goes a long way and the more we give the more we get so just remember that if you can encourage someone with your words it's free it's free encourage someone reach out tell them they're doing a good job tell them you appreciate them encourage them that'll allow them to go further in life and the universe gives back so if you give to them uh, either they'll give back to you or someone else will give back to you and that's how it works but it all starts with words it all starts with our affirmations it all starts with how we speak to the world and to ourselves so there's your message of the day you've been lied to your whole life sticks and stones may break my bones but words will screw me up every time so there you go all right, let's jump on prayers over here. This traffic's crazy all of a sudden. All right. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, much women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to realize how important our words are, and how important it is uh, to speak from our heart, and to know the truth, to speak the truth. Uh, help us to encourage those around us, and help us to be a positive light, and help us to know that we have everything it takes, that you've given us everything that we need to get ahead in this life. Amen. All right, everyone, so there's your message of the day. Words will hurt you. Don't listen to the nursery rhyme that you learned way, way, way back in the day. Um, and that one I think they're talking about other people's words, but other people's words and all words are just as important. 
um, how you speak to yourself and how you speak to those around us will determine how far you go in this world and uh, determine how soon you get out of the fog. Hi, everyone. God bless. Happy Friday. Memorial Day weekend. Um, say a prayer for all those that gave their lives uh, so that we can celebrate this weekend, be free. It's not really a celebration. It's kind of a somber holiday. It's in memorial of all those that gave their lives. Uh, there's no greater gift than to give your life for your fellow man. So shout out to everyone that uh, has gone before us to give us everything we have to allow us to live in this free country, to allow us to do what we want, when we want, say what we want. So Memorial Day, it's not about parties and barbecues. It's about those that have fallen and made uh, gave their lives for us. So think about it. Words are important. Put your head on a pillow every night, knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.